What is going on guys? Welcome to Brookie. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, is it safe to squat every single day for 500 days in a row? Now, before we dive into the video, first I want to talk about the reason why I want to make this video. Because a couple of months ago, a video, video started popping up into my YouTube feed and probably yours as well, of a guy named Yvonne Jurek. I hope I pronounced your name right, man. Um, who was squatting every single day for 400 days in a row. Now, 100 days later, he's still squatting every single day, which is, in my opinion, very impressive. So the guy, his background, he's a he's nurse, he has a child, so he has a busy life already. He has irregular hours as it comes to work, and he still puts in the time and effort to squat every single day. And when I saw that video, I was really inspired to improve on my squat and push myself further and getting a good technique. Let's go back to whether it's safe or not to squat every single day. Like if we take a look at the fitness industry today, there are two camps. The first one is like big egos, uh, getting huge, juiced up, all that. The other camp is people who are humble, people who know what it's, what's up, who are honest with you and who just show that they're human. And I think Yvonne is in the second camp. He, he really just shows that he also has goals. He wants to squat 300 kilos at one point, but he is smart about his progress. He just doesn't push through it. He also is smart when it comes to injuries like i saw a couple of videos his hip was hurting he tries to work around it something that i tell on this channel a lot as well like if you have an injury work around it find a way to train without uh, aggravating the injury even more when you have that mindset that you're trying to look for answers whenever something's aching you try to find a way to make your body work I think you can squat for 500 days in a row and be safe about it and even go up to 2000 days in a row of squatting. It boils all down to ego. It boils all down to listening to your body and being mindful when your body is telling you that it can't push through, that you listen to it, that you work around it, that you find a way to make stuff happen. So I think squatting every day also has a big advantage because if you're doing it every day and you're really mindful of your technique and really working on that technique, you can improve a lot faster than if you only squat once a week and you have to pick things up where you left them a week earlier, it's going to be a lot more of a hassle. Whereas if you do it every single day, you're going to get a lot better progress. And that is also where the Bulgarian method is based upon. It's not just squatting every day max effort, but it's just greasing that groove over time that's going to be so beneficial for your squat. So now here I'm showing footage of my own squat. And to be honest, I've been really struggling for the last two months on improving my technique. So my max ever was 140 kilos on the squat and my form wasn't really there. I was always like, falling forward whenever I was squatting and that was because I had adopted a mindset of squatting that was not right. I was very scared of using my knees to drive the squat. All these little things like tweaking your technique, filming, being very very frustrated for weeks on end and finding a way to make the form work. That is what training and longevity is all about. A lot of people want results now. They want results within the year, but it takes time. A human evolves from being a baby all the way up to being an adult in 25 years. So it takes time for a body to develop, for your body to become stronger. And expecting to have a good squat in one year by only squatting once a week, that can work, but you can't expect the same amount of results from a person that is squatting for 500 days in a row. You have to put in the work first and you have to be smart about it. You have to think about 
the long term. You want to lift, you want to work out, you want to train for the majority of your life. You want to do this for 20 years, 40 years, 50 years maybe. And you shouldn't be thinking of this like, hey, I want this now, I want to squat 300 kilos by the end of the year and boom, be done with it. No, you have to get the mindset of doing it for the long haul. I think that is what makes it possible to squat every single day for 500 days, which is actually still amazing, but he puts in the work, he lets his ego aside, he listens to his body, and I think he's in there for the long haul. So those are the key points that make sure that he can do what he does. And I think that's possible for you too. Am I going to squat for every single day for 500 days? Probably not. I'm now at two times a week and I think that's pretty good. Um, I still have other goals as well. I also want to comment on my own technique as it comes to the squat. So I am trying to undo four years of bad squatting technique with two months now of trying to do it good. So uh, we have a long way to go, but that's okay. I'm excited. I'm excited to squat one day, maybe 160 kilos or maybe 180. But the goal is to keep it safe, to progress slowly and to just be smart about it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, good job, my man.